Okay. Ah, hello my colorful friends. Hope you are having a fantastic uh, weekend. I'm uh, Anne and today uh, I continue coloring this uh, Pixies and Hummingbirds pizza picture uh, by coloring a few flowers that we have here, back, back here. Um, at least one of these uh, flowers that I'm going to do today is uh, blue, so that's why I have these uh, blue pencils here. Um, I made this, uh, this uh, hummingbird and this uh, little pixie uh, last, in last video yesterday and today I'm continuing continuing doing this uh, this um, picture. I made this as I mentioned in previous video. I made this um, coloring page for you so that you can follow with me if you want. Uh, you can purchase this this picture from selfie.com uh, slash fineartanne. Um, just a second. The it's selfie.com selfie.com slash fineartanne. There is that picture, and you can purchase that from there. And um, so, yeah, let's begin. First. First, I will start by, well, just move those aside and um, I will start uh, by laying a layer of white color on this, this flower here. That will be, uh, that is because I want to protect the paper. If I do mistakes, I can erase that. Or um, actually, I have the idea that uh, I want to erase these. Uh, these are these called stems? I want to call, uh, erase these stems back to white, but um, so that I don't need to uh, be so careful. I can, uh, if I layer the white color on on here. Uh, it will protect the area and I can erase it back to white. So, again, make sure you have a, you have a sharp point on your pencil and really lightly, I don't push at all. Um, this is quite hard, <laughs> quite quite hard now because I can't see where my colors are. But uh, I'm just doing this uh, little circular movement, and I try to just go over the complete complete. Um, flower I have here completely <clears throat> also I'm trying still <laughs> even though this doesn't uh, show <laughs> anywhere um, this white I try to follow the kind of the uh, direction of these uh, these petals because that may show uh, when when uh, I layer the second colors on top of this white so so um, I don't want uh, to have kind of because 
I will color these when I start coloring this blue. I will color this uh, uh, in this direction, if that makes any sense. Also, I want to thank you guys who have purchased that uh, that coloring picture from the selfie selfie.com um, <laughs> that really helps me and also it's so nice that uh, uh, you guys also feel like you want to color with me and do do this uh, these pictures <coughs> sorry okay maybe I I'm having enough white color there. I hope it is even color. I can uh, I can see the layer by looking a little bit aside aside here. So I now I'm I'm uh, kind of checking from the side if there is areas that needs more and actually now I will uh, move the camera a little bit closer so that it's uh, uh, easier and you you see better what I'm doing hi Nymph <laughs> you man managed to come this time glad to have you here just a second I will move this camera Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> and let's try to find some. Also, this uh, when I move this camera closer, <laughs> it also helps me so that uh, I can bring my head really close uh, close to the picture. I usually, <laughs> very often, I'm uh, coloring my nose almost touching the paper. And but when uh, when I do these uh, <laughs> these uh, uh, videos, I many times I have the camera far 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 away, and uh, I need to. Be aware so that uh, my head is not on the way when when coloring and uh, doing those videos. Um, just a second, I'll take a sip of coffee from my Moomin cup, and um, actually. This is my reference. <laughs> I stole this uh, little um, um, fabric. Uh, this is fa fabric uh, kind of um, flower. I stole this from my mother, and I will kind of try to look a little bit reference from here. Where they put those uh, those shadows and uh, some wrinkles. So let's see if I can lay this somewhere somewhere here, about like like this. So now this is our reference. Oh, I'm moving it. Our reference picture really roughly <laughs> I'm I will not uh, follow this uh, completely uh, uh, like this but uh, uh, I will kind of take some hints here and there but um, well I will leave probably probably leave these uh, these petals here and just try to mimic this one more 
Hmm. Or should I? Because uh, in this in this line art picture there is no no lines, no petals here, and it might get uh, difficult to those who wants to use uh, that that reference picture. It might get a little bit um, difficult to get that that uh, loop there. Hmm. How should I do this? Or should I use this one? Or should I not? Because these are kind of curling outwards. Maybe this this side could give me. This is the problem when you don't have a reference photo. Okay, well, let's see. This is giving just giving me some motivation, but I'm not trying to do <laughs> exactly like this because, well, this is uh, now upside down and I don't want that to be here. But uh, some little shadows and highlights and so on. I, I'll try to kind of uh, use this uh, to guide me. We'll see what will happen. Highly art. Uh, yeah, I'm at work again. Uh, I'll follow you while working on a boring <laughs> color swatch. Yeah, <laughs> um, I am a terrible doing those color swatches. Actually, I have done real color swatch only about one time. Um, with those uh, Faber Castell Albert Durer pencils. Actually, I want to show you just a quick little uh, neat tip I have. Some of you, this is my one of my sketchbook, and I made this little kind of color swatches. These are um, made with uh, uh, Karen Das uh, Neocolor, these uh, water soluble uh, um, water soluble colored, uh, what are, are those? Um, sticks? Uh, pastels. And uh, those are kind of my portable uh, watercolor palette now, so I can just add add some water and uh, pick some color from those uh, little little swatches and uh, use it as uh, for painting. Okay, actually. Okay, I want to get here, somewhere here. Actually, this is maybe just um, on the way now because I don't find the uh, shape shape to be quite right. Um, this area here is 
going down there and I want the, the center area here to be quite light but it won't be purely white white I will tone tone it down or uh, color it a little bit darker with some some colors but this area here what I'm marked here I will do more more darker and in it will fade to the edge of those petals and um, as you can see here even though that is not a real real flower the petals are usually quite wrinkle wrinkly looking so we need to try to mimic that also yeah those are really really nice nice uh, those nail color pastels they are really nice very vibrant and uh, there is nice amount of coral in the those I just haven't had time to use those as much as uh, as I would have wanted. Oh, so much going on. Okay, and let's see. And again, I am not uh, pushing, pushing at all. I'm, I'm having really light hand. <laughs> I have this neat idea that I would use this this uh, flower here as a reference more but <laughs> apparently no I'm just making these things up as I go Uh, I I saw your uh, video where you did that uh, peacock. It was it was so beautiful, pretty colors. What was the uh, sparkly um, sparkly dust you added there? Um, is it just uh, some uh, crafty uh, craft? Uh, <laughs> my English is coming coming on my way now but uh, anyway it, it gave it a really nice effect I bet it looks really nice on your on your bed, uh, bedroom wall and let's see like this hello Hilde nice to have you here
and now because I have that white under under layering there I, I don't need to be too careful with these petals but still I, I will um, try to a little bit um, I won't just color here I'm trying to um, go over those a uh, little bit but And if you have hard time um, doing doing flowers, I really recommend to not doing like I do here. Usually, I have always uh, a accurate reference photo, but uh, but uh, because this is my kind of own creation. And uh, I didn't want to just take some picture in, in uh, from uh, from Google and do it as a um, coloring picture and start st selling those. So I don't. I feel that is not correct way to do because the photographers have also have also those um, um, copyright ownership for the, their photos so so um, although yes I did look a little bit uh, um, reference from some pictures but not uh, anything exact and stupid me I didn't I didn't uh, save any any of those that those uh, photos that I looked when when uh, designing these these flowers. Okay, actually, I need to correct those colors just a little bit because I feel it is not some um... hmm Little bit too violet, just a second. Okay. It's so hard to try to get those colors show uh, the right way on the monitor or in these videos. I will leave this some of these uh, um, lighter areas highlights, but um, not completely white. And actually, well, I do that. I will do that on the on a later. Um, but now, where is my? Let's try this one. There is surprisingly little, uh, few few really blue blue colors in these sets. Don't know why. I um, feel like every color is either too violet or too green.
make the nice little sharp, a little bit sharper um, kind of highlight or uh, shadow, shadow there. And blending with the with this Pablo. Apple pencil. My coffee is starting to get cold. Really need to remember to drink that while it is drinkable. And because I like to jump around, I jump here to here on the opposite side. I, as you can see, I don't color this uh, completely on one one color. Um, I try to kind of vary, do this uh, zigzag kind of uh, coloring so that so I get this uh, nice uh, organic uh, wrinkles here. And if I find some here, as in, uh, is is nice wrinkle, I add some shade shade there. And here, so on. Here is this. If I do a little bit coloring here, so that you can see this stems are coming out here and I need to color there because those comes um, on top of this this petal here and now let's add some way darker color So that these stems here will just come come uh, closer and pop up better from here. Thank you, Nymph. Uh, <laughs> I actually. I was uh, I'm really pleased myself with, with this hummingbird it uh, even though this is so so small uh, it turned out quite quite nicely 
and even the the face of that uh, that little pixie <laughs> that really gave me hard time yesterday. Trying to get all those little details with the with these pencils. Not the easiest thing thing to do. Okay, let's see. Cast shadow because this petal here is on top of this one. So I want to go over here and extend this area here so that it really is looks like it is on top of that one and add this shadow there and switch colors <coughs> I am kind of, with these uh, lighter colors, I'm kind of following those uh, shadow areas, but a little bit overlapping also on those white, white highlighted areas. But not, uh, again, not going over the whole piece. Okay, and let's jump again on the opposite side. I don't have any particular reason for this jumping. It is just something I like to do. At least now I'm kind of staying in one area. <laughs> I so often jump around much much more and okay let's see the outer edge is here and if I would get some I want to get some bump here. I don't know why, but <clears throat> just to get kind of this kind of bump. Just to give it more interest. And again, these are all every uh, every part here is going to this point here so I try to follow that curve in that direction when I call this Thank you, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful colors and such a fine details. Yeah, <laughs> I really enjoy doing fine, fine details. Teeny tiny t details, even though that face, I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> well, kind of did, but uh, um, yeah. I prefer doing big pieces with much of details, but a little bit bigger details, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then just jump to another blue, blue color.
let's make this side of this petal a little bit darker like so and leave this lighter you can change that uh, later if we want um, yeah and then there is let's try this this is going under this And this uh, darker area here is kind of making a circle. So it is not straight here, straight here, straight here, but kind of like circle. Do you guys hear the birds that are singing outside? There is this one, one little bird just saying <laughs> little tweet, tweets, fun little thing. Let's see, and uh, this is kind of coming here like this and then turning like that so if I do here yeah Again, I'm doing this this movement uh, to kind of trying to vary the darkness and light areas here, and that gives me this kind of wrinkly look here. Upper edge here and high wheel. Um, sorry, getting ready to enjoy the weather. Just wanted to stop by and say hello. <laughs> Hello, um, gl glad that the, you could came here, but do go uh, go out and enjoy the weather if if it's uh, nice, nice and sunny there. Uh, it has been quite nice here also. Um, I just want to say those. Um, Pastel, pastel videos you you had have made. I uh, <laughs> last was it Friday? Uh, no, Thursday. 
I watched those uh, while I was working and oh my god those are so well done beautiful pictures and I really enjoy the quality of those tutorial videos you you produce just amazing <laughs> I really really enjoy and I can imagine how how informative and helpful those must be for the more beginner artists and as you said I, um, those uh, those are kind of uh, easy to jump into even if you were completely beginner but uh, even though for us who are <laughs> are more um, have done more with uh, uh, with pastels already and uh, have uh, been painting and uh, drawing a longer time I really enjoy it uh, those uh, those videos and uh, they are giving uh, I'm, I'm still having new new ideas and new uh, tips from those so great great tutorials even for beginners and for for uh, more advanced students so really uh, if if uh, some of you guys have not uh, heard on musk art has this um, has done this uh, it was a kickstarter um, and where he uh, did this uh, is there five Five different videos where uh, he shows you how to do different kind of landscapes uh, with pastels and uh, those are just amazing go go and check out he has the uh, those shorter intro videos on on his um, channel so you can get a little uh, little glimpse for for those uh, tutorials. The quality of those videos is just amazing. You ha must have had so much work work for editing those uh, those videos. So you are you have uh, deserved your your free <laughs> free day on the sunny sunny uh, Poland <laughs> so go out and enjoy okay and again I am not pushing at all I'm I'm having really really light hand here Because I don't want to damage my paper, I want to get as many layers as I can. And now, when I have this all this color here, I'll take my pink. And <laughs> okay, yes. Have a nice day and uh, say hi to Anna. <laughs> Sandy, St Sandy Stardust. That is just the best name. Uh, you made it. <laughs> That's great. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, doing at least this one, one flower here, and maybe later another one. I need to check out if I need to. Uh, go out with my dog on some some uh, um, on, um, later later I may need to uh, go out with my dog just a second and then I would continue but uh, either way I will kind of uh, split these videos so that this won't get too long because well this little hummingbird here it uh, that took me a little over well three hours so 
<laughs> that is still quite quite long video and uh, I try to split these uh, more <laughs> more watchable um, size or length so uh, even though if I, I decide to just continue coloring the next flower I may uh, stop recording just a second and then continue so that, that I get this uh, multiple different shorter videos drinking more cold coffee oh <laughs> not that bad not that good oh. Okay, and let's add just a little bit more darker. This is halo blue reddish. Again, a little bit violet tone of blue. Nice dark, darker blue. Making these little little lines here in the edge, it kind of uh, gives the more more three dimensional and nice sharp look here. Okay, now let's take uh, this color here and just very, very lightly make shadow here. Okay. 
Okay, and let's take this. Kind of um, doing this uh, circle or more circular movement in, on the on here in the center area. And when I come to these petals, I again use the direction of the petal, and I'm not pushing that much. Okay, and then let's take this neat little eraser and as you can see, because I did that uh, under uh, under coloring with the white, I can now erase this uh, do this little dots here really easily like so actually I need to cut cut this a little bit sharper I cut this uh, with my scissors and hopefully I can get now sharper lines, a little bit sharper lines. Actually, I, I should have done that uh, center area a little bit darker so that those those uh, petals would, uh, or not petals, but uh, stems would pop up a little better. But let's do... In these areas, let's make these ends here a little bit thicker, like so. Okay, and then let's continue. Actually, now I will do this. Where is my... I need to... I will uh, now blend with mineral spirits or paint thinner this, these petals but I just need to first get get my... Uh, found my odorless mineral spirit so just a second This is uh, the mine mineral spirit or uh, paint thinner that I use. It has n almost no not uh, uh, odor at all. <coughs> ah, yeah. and let's add here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm glad that uh, you find these uh, these tips helpful. I I try to cover cover these uh, as often as I can, but many times it's just kind of that uh, uh, you may you may think some some um, things are common common knowledge, and then you face people that have not heard or tried tried these uh, <coughs> ooh, these techniques themselves. So so. <laughs> But uh, I try to plan this uh, this uh, picture, this whole picture, so that I can cover as many little tips as possible. And I know that uh, <laughs> that erasing is uh, many times so difficult when working with colored pencils that uh, uh, it, it is something uh, we <laughs> tend to struggle so that is quite handy handy way to protect your paper and uh, you can quite easily go over uh, and um, erase things, erase those mistakes, or use it like this as a tool, deliberate tool. Um, I always plan my my pictures on on some some level, so that, uh, for example, I deliberately did that uh, white background so that I could go over this whole area and do this kind of a, um, erasing here. Actually this is not as good of a pen, uh, brush as I would like, so just a second I'll try to find another brush. No, the brushes are there. No, don't fall down. Let's try if I I like these synthetic brushes that are quite hard, uh, stiff, and um, <laughs> many of you may know, but uh, for those that don't know, I am just kind of pushing and moving this. Uh, this um, uh, color pigment around and uh, getting that color on those little crevices that this paper has so that's why as you can see you I can get rid of these little little dots white dots here and I'm just carefully Tapping and blending and pushing that little color particle inside those those holes. Also, this helps uh, if you start to get uh, a wax bloom and you can't get uh, new layers on your paper. This may help on that too. But after after you have blended with these mineral spirits, um, wait wait till till it is completely uh, dry so that you won't damage your paper.
because the paper is a little bit wet although this is quite quite dry this is my of my uh, pencil now <clears throat> pencil a brush And also because I have that white under under layer layer there, uh, it is one one more color layer here, so that that uh, kind of also helps to me to move these these color particles around. Um, you need to have. Uh, enough layers to get this this work uh, work uh, as good as it can work and uh, this is just the first first layer I I actually I will tap the excess the um, if I get too much of that uh, um, paint thinner on my brush I always tap uh, some of it away. Kind of cleaned, cleaned it, that brush because I don't want that uh, uh, blue to come here uh, when I start blending this area, this highlight area. Just a little bit. Same here. Okay, maybe <clears throat> we now have uh, blended this enough. Soon, I think <clears throat> here. I didn't blend these last time, but I can do that now.
touching my camera. Aside, and maybe <clears throat> maybe that is dry now. And let's see what if I use this one? Let's test. Because this is kind of a, um, well, this is sal salmon pink um, from um, Pablo Pablo Benzos. Uh, it is more like a yellowish or orange uh, color, so it will nicely pop up from from there. And now I. Give there here and there little little hints of orange. Just a few little dots here and there. And then let's take this. This is cadmium cadmium yellow lemon. Yeah, yellow lemon, and I give this a little hint of that, not too much, just a little bit. some actual details sharpen those edges and on the beginning of these stems I'll do few little sharp lines kind of uh, so that those will pop up more from that from there Yeah, if you um, 
as I mentioned in the previous video I made. Um, I quickly saw, showed in, in that uh, how I traced really easily this, uh, this picture on this piece of paper. This is a... I have the uh, paper and these pencils and every everything on the video description but this is a shooty uh, hot pressed watercolor paper quite heavy um, 300 grams I don't know what it is is it 140 pounds I don't know um, uh, I used this paper because it's uh, nice, smooth and uh, heavy. <laughs> and um, but because I can't uh, print, ooh, 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 push too much. I can't print uh, on this kind of uh, art paper. Or, and also, even though this uh, picture, this picture is uh, size. A tree. Um, the paper I have cut this paper a little bit larger, larger, larger size. So, so because I wanted to use this paper, I and and I wanted this to be as as close to the original. Um, coloring picture that I made for this, uh, I I decided to trace it, trace it, and uh, I showed in the previous video how I did do that really easily. But I also have that uh, explained um, on my on my um, website. Whynotonne.com. You can find the way, uh, the instructions there. Also, but the <laughs> it's basically like I <clears throat> I print the picture on the printing paper, and then I use these same colored pencils I use here. I I flip the paper, the print printed paper, color the other side of the that paper, tape uh, <laughs> put it on top of this paper, tape it down, and uh, then trace it using using a ballpoint pen, and it will move the color from the other side of the paper to this paper, but just be aware not to damage your paper by pressing too hard. You can easily do that. Let's give it this nice, nice, sharp um, shadows here. Do some contrast.
see. Let's take this white and see if if this makes any difference in here. Let's make this this petal here the line the line that will go over there and a little, little shadow so that this um, kind of a wrinkle or the edge here becomes a lighter so we do this uh, little shadow there and use white white colored blend that and that so it looks more like uh, two different petals next to each other Then that is going under here. Let's add some little, little bit 
that bevel here so that it is more on, under that other under that other bevel let's do a few little drop sa shadows here and also in here and this is a little bit far away this then let's take this blue and just blend blend these shadows soften those a bit like so uh, so Niamh you have to head out we have kids birthday party to get ready oh my you have Margaret. thank you Niamh and uh, have a nice kid party kids birthday birthday party and uh, Congratulations for the <laughs> for the uh, birthday. Syntari uh, Sankari, what is the <laughs> English? Oh my god, <laughs> basic English just living from my head. Uh, but have a nice day, have a nice day and party. Have a lot, lot of cake. I hope you have a lot of cake. Yeah, thank you. Um, see you next time. Hope you hope you can uh, tune in um, next time on live. But uh, if you don't, uh, we we maybe see you in your your uh, live stream or somewhere else. But have a nice day. <clears throat> Okay, and here also some, let's do this a little bit far, far away here.
now I'm just kind of blending with this uh, white white pencil I could do this uh, same thing with this uh, with the odorless mineral spirit but uh, I feel like I can I can uh, do this okay with the with this white pencil now and then let's smooth this out a little bit more and then I want to get a little bit details here actually I prefer pink now. Ooh. Pencils are running away. <clears throat> okay, now um, some some uh, flowers. I show you some flowers have these uh, very visible lines growing from the from the center here. So I try to do not exactly like this, but. A little bit similar similar lines coming from here to here so that I I get this uh, kind of veins and now you have to have very very sharp point on your pencil I do these few lines completely from here to here. Just not straight lines. And then I come here and One coming here, to here, and from here, it's coming here.
no I don't have anything on this this uh, pencil I just try to get that uh, dust away and now I have these lines here and I kind of do little shadows one side of those not too dark just so that those are not only only lines but kind of like um what is it in English uh, wrinkles <laughs> kind of wrinkles very very lightly
Kitchen my camera stand. Okay, and then maybe we can test this out how this is going to work. These areas are not going to blend uh, uh, or erase as well as the these one here previously because uh, I have blended these areas with the with the odorless mineral spirit. So remember that. Um, where is my oh? This just um hi Paul uh well it's okay <laughs> uh you have to leave early yesterday but was it really early for you or was it <coughs> was it really late? <clears throat> because well it was night time for <coughs> for me so maybe it's um, I'm so bad at this uh, this uh, remembering how the time um, changes is the what is early morning or early evening on your side of the <laughs> world yesterday <clears throat> now I'm giving a little bit uh, pink here and actually maybe I should give 
some pink here also very lightly so that I can I can blend this uh, with this white pencil Okay, now we have this flower here, and uh, I think I'm done with this for now, at least. Now I'm just just following the lines that I have added here. second I'll move my camera a little bit up far away so that and is it still sharp or can I get it even sharper just a second
Okay, this is getting too dull. So I sharpened it in um, another piece of paper. You don't always have to sharpen with the sharpener your pencil. If it's as sharp as this, you can just uh, this way sharpen on on a um, separate piece of paper, paper or even on sanded paper. You get nice, nice sharp edge that way
Actually, I had this one coming on top of this. This is how this is starting to look now. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I think I will be taking a little break. I will continue working uh, this. Um, this will be pink uh, flower, flower here, but I will uh, stop this live stream so that it, <laughs> this won't become too long. And uh, but in I don't know maybe half an hour I will continue in a next live stream. So uh, if you want to just uh, join in <laughs> and uh, I want to uh, thank you all who um, who have uh, supported me by buying the um, the coloring picture uh, that I have uh, done for you guys and uh, yeah <laughs> see you in the next live stream thank you bye <laughs>